Welcome to your Star Trek Picard Season 2 Episode 7 review. I am Trek Trav, make sure to subscribe and like if you like this video. If you don't like it, then I don't give a crap. Au contraire, mon capitaine, he's back! We're in his mind for like 20 minutes. What like I oh, like I get it. I'm I I'm still enjoying the season. The Girardi stuff is really really good, um, but we're in his mind for ten minutes. Uh, so the episode starts off with obviously we're talking to a psychiatrist who is the actor from Battlestar Galactica, uh, and he's really like look he's really good. It did intrigue me initially. It was really really good. Um, and then we cut to him his mother in the and him as a child and they're talking. Uh, and the biggest revelation from from that comes later on in the episode. But she she's trying she's trying to escape this screaming. But she's sort of he's trying to tell a story. Anyway, we cut to we cut to uh, Laris, who who's pretty clearly Laris now. Later in the episode, they reveal her Romulan ear. They go inside his mind. Uh, Rios has decided that. Uh, to hell with the future, I'm just going to inform the doctor nurse who I have a crush on that I'm from the future. And he told her kid. Uh, we also have uh, Gerardi going around breaking glass and trying to increase the chemicals within her body to create a queen. And to be fair, we've never actually seen a queen creation. We've seen the drone creation, but never the actual queen. So it's interesting to watch, I suppose, from that point of view. Uh, it's certainly more interesting than a lot of the Picard stuff, which fell a bit flat with me this episode. I, I like the fact that instead of it being his father was an ass, it's actually, um, his mother was dealing with some sort of depression or psych, maybe a, a bit of bipolar. Uh, and, and so he loved his mum, but he sort of misinterpreted his dad, uh, and growing up. We all misunderstand our parents, and we all know this. Uh, the episode, the episode was just a bit hodgepodge. Like you had the Kirk memory, the the Picard memory stuff in the first like 15, 20 minutes. Then suddenly with Girardi, and then with Rios, and then all of a sudden, okay, he's got he's worked out that Q wants him. And to be honest, it plays to the fact that Q's not actually evil. It's sort of Q wants, he's trying to make it about Picard, but actually it's about Q. And I like that idea. I like that we got to see Guinan come back again, and I think she's played again quite well. Uh, I certainly think that uh, Rios telling the the Doctor and that about it is a little bit, um, a little bit like, why? Also, when she used, when he beamed the medical equipment in, like, oh, she accidentally saw it. Why did... Why did she, why was she the one who scanned Picard? Like, she's using a piece of technology that she doesn't understand. Like, why didn't Rios do it? It, that, look, I've had a shit day at work, but I'm just trying to, uh, trying to look at the episode in it and it think, like, it had its good parts. The good parts being... The Girardi thing I'm really interested in. I like the fact that there's the risk of they they've destroyed Earth in themselves. Um, I like the fact that uh, Seven and uh, Raffi are are about and about, and they're trying to work it out. I just wish there was more of that, and trying to contact Q, and a little less of the memory thing. Uh, I did like like if the whole episode was the memory thing, I'd be like okay. The whole episode, the whole episode's this. That's fine. You could judge it like that. It felt like three episodes crammed together, uh, which is surprising because I, I just, I, I, the last few episodes have been a bit slow and a bit pacing, and this one just felt like, bam, bam, bam. We've got all this. We need to get you here. Y'all must be mistaken. Uh, so, I'm, I'm hopeful. We're at episode seven. We've got three more episodes to go. Uh, it looks like it's building up to crescendo of the Borg Queen possibly nearly taking over Earth or something along those lines. Uh, they are, must restore the future because obviously the TNG cast is coming back next season unless they're coming back as alternate versions. Uh, they also announced a Picard movie 
which I, I don't know where they're going to go with that. I'm gathering it's just, oh, we've got ratings. Ignore the small cat meowing. I'm about to murder him. Uh, and yeah, it's, it was it was a good episode, but just felt like three episodes in one. Um, I'm I'm interested to see where the Girardi storyline is going. I'm interested to see the Rios telling the Doctor thing. I'll be on that for a while. Why? And why was she using that medical instrument? Like, really? Um, and Picard's mum having bipolar. I like the fact that they are kind of doing what Discovery did, which is dealing with emotion and mental illness. I think that's important this day and age because we didn't used to talk about it. Uh, they delve a little bit into Raffi and Seven's relationship, but they it's a very light touch. I like their chemistry, though. Their chemistry plays really, really well within the episode, um, and they work well as a team. I've noticed this season that Jerry Ryan's very much playing sort of a, a a more seven of a more Voyager seven of nine mixed with last season seven of nine a little less over emotional a little bit more the seven we know and maybe that's just her being more comfortable I'm not sure uh tell me what you think I'd love to hear your points of view negative positive I will interact with that video make sure to subscribe and like and I'll see you next week for episode eight